There's one thing that I wanted to point out before we went any further, and you can continue to paint this document, although I'm not going to finish. Um, I'd like you to pay attention to this down here at the bottom. We talked in the last video that this shows us the size of our document. And here we can see that we have two different numbers. We've got 917K, which is a little less than a meg, and here we have 4.48 megs. Well, why is there two numbers down there for one file? Well, these basically talk about the sizes of our documents, and one is if we save it as a flattened image, and this is with the layers. Okay, so you can see that the layers keep the images a lot larger. Every time we add a layer and we paint, it's going to increase this number. Every time we make a new layer and put anything on that layer. Now, a lot of tutorials and a lot of times when you're working in Photoshop, they'll tell you to flatten the image as sort of the last step, and they do that to save some file space. But you know what? Hard drive space is cheap these days. Don't flatten your image, okay? Just keep in mind that this image size reading right here is the flattened size and then the full size of the image. Okay, so this tells you the size, the file size of the image. You can see that when we first opened it up, it was 305K. And now we're up to 917K if we flatten it. And why so much larger? Well, because it's not grayscale, it's color. So it needs a lot more space to save all of the color information. Okay, so keep in mind that as you're adding layers to your images, it's going to make the images larger and larger in terms of file size. Make sure that if you are saving documents on a USB key or a flash drive, that you have a large flash drive. Okay, if you're working in Photoshop and you're going to be saving and backing up documents, you should get a really big hard drive. It's kind of an important thing to remember. Okay, so I uh, just wanted to make sure that you were aware that this area of the screen shows us where we can find the file size.